Hello creative designers and welcome on to the story. My name is Peter. Head on to the story of which is going to see how we can be able to add a stock, a stock progress bar for each and every product. I'm going to show you how to set up everything. We're not going to use any free product. We are not going to use any plugin, but we're just going to do it with a just simple view, a very few lines of PHP. And I'm going to show you how to configure everything and how to set up even and customize even the text included here. That's the tutorial for today. And without further ado, let's just get into action and I'll show you how. So the first thing you just need to do, we need to get to the dashboard and all the dashboard menu, scroll out where you have the plugin. You don't hope far, select a new because we need to install a new plugin that will facilitate for us to be able to add the code. Head on the plugin repository, here search for code snippet. Here you have it, it's called code snippet from code snippet pro. You can see 600,000 active installation has updated just two weeks ago. So we install the plugin. And after successful installation of the plugin, we just need to activate the plugin. Here you have it. You can add, you can decide to add uh, the course input from this end, or else you can come to the dashboard menu, scroll out to where you have the, uh, the snippet, just select add new. We just need to give it a name here. We can just call it status progress bar. All we just need to do now is we had now the PHP code here. And I have included the link on the description. All I just need to do is copy and you just paste it here learn it on the front end or you can learn it the snippet everywhere so all you just need to do is save and activate with that now we have been able to add the feature on our e-commerce website so the next thing we just need to do for it work we just need to like for instance when you just open for this product here you see, we don't have the product here. Uh, we don't have the status progress here. So all I just need to do is I go to the shop. And we go to the dashboard. And I just progress the product. And I select product. Here, I just need to search for the product here. So here we have it. And I need to edit for this to have to have the uh, status bar we just need to head over to the inventory and set, uh, select manage stocks and we just need to add the stock available let me just something like 50 and i update when i hover back here to the product and i reload the page you see now we have how many that are remaining that's how we have just added it. So what if now we just say 50 uh, is the full amount of the stock. So what you just need to do is you come back to the snippet and on the line number 15 here, we have the max number here we have, so we say it's 50 uh, is 100. So if I put here as 50 and I update here, And I reload for this product, you see now 50 is the full, uh, the maximum stock uh, this product can hold. You can even add 100, it still remain the same. But on this line here, number 15 here, here is the way you can just manage uh, like the maximum stock uh, you can hold so that the progress bar can show how many are remaining you know, and all that. So I just put 100 as my maximum. And but you can customize here. The other thing you can just be able to customize from here is like for instance, you can be able to customize this text here, like only 15 remaining. You can just customize and add something like you can something to spice up whatever it is. So, what you just need to do is on online number 15 here, we have echo, we have only. You can customize and see available for sale. So, and just that, I just need to update here. Once I come here back and I refresh, you see now we have customized the text and you see it is just showing how many that is meaning and it also shows how many are available in stock. That's how you can be able to add the status and cut the status bar 
for the particular product and you can be able to customize on that i hope the tutorial was of benefit for you if you did learn something out of this tutorial hit the thumbs up and if you're new here consider subscribing till next time thank you